One of the more interesting things that we try to do on this channel is often discuss innovation and really try to credit innovation. Now, this is the first place deck profile uh, from my locals last week. Now, I didn't get the chance to film the IRL deck profile. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I actually ended up leaving locals to go buy a new chair um, while I was down there after doing really bad with uh, spirals. Just, it's one of those things that's like you get a golden opportunity to test something and you kind of grab at it. But anyway, this is the deck profile that ended up getting first place out of, I believe it was 20 people. Uh, Jacob Bowling always brings these really weird innovative decks to locals and he's almost always got a strategy in mind uh, behind them. No, I don't have the side deck unfortunately. Uh, I apologize for that. You'll be able to kind of piece that together and things like that. So guys, of course, what's up YouTube? I'm Kofordi here. Uh, we are going to be looking at probably, I'm not going to say the most innovative piece of technology um, we've had in a while, but it's definitely one of the more interesting ones. So as I said, uh, bowling is one of our local innovative players. I uh, always come up with something a little bit more spicy than usual and bring it to locals and sit down and his his general strategies are to literally try to cuck the local metagame. And by looking at the, the mainstream uh, deck here, it is True King Dinosaurs and typically, or not dinosaurs, True King Volcanic. Now I know Bowling's always had a very special place in his heart for Volcanics because being able to just have a board wipe that you can shave three cards off of your deck and literally reload, as they'll say, with RFG over here. Uh, the deck definitely, it, it puts a new spin on control. And I was watching Bar mess around with this a little bit this morning, uh, playing the deck. And the deck can run out of steam, but as long as the Volcanic Engine is maintaining a proper speed with the True King Engine, then you can get there. Also, literally being able to Volcanic Shell away itself off of Diagram, pay 500, recur another one. It's literally one of the best recursion engines in the current day and age of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, you know, with RFG, we'll, we'll get there in a little bit, though. So... Let's talk about the main deck, shall we? Um, the, you're probably looking at this and going, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo going on in here. There's a lot of anti-meta deck choices uh, for today's current format. So of course, Triple Ash Blossom, uh, one Distrudo over here, um, no Foolish Barrel in the main deck. Um, this is just one of those things, if I get it, I can light it up and destroy it. Two Jurigato, this is something a little bit more interesting. Um, of a card choice, but we'll talk about this in a little bit. Uh, one Max C, uh, two RFG, of course, Royal Firestorm Guards, uh, Triple Fire King, or True King, uh, and then one Father Member, and then of course, Triple Rocket, uh, Triple Scattershot, Triple Shell, one Dark Hole, Triple Diagram, two Magical Planter, one Regeki, two Terraforming, and then Drop Guards, two Anti Spell Fragrance, True Triple Blaze Accelerator. Two Summon Limit and True Unending Nightmare. Uh, the extra deck, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Black Rose, one Michael, one Stardust, one Vermilion Dragon Mech, uh, Abyss Dweller, Castell, Cowboy, Utopia, Boguski, Lightning, uh, Enter Black Near, of course, Torino Dragon, uh, True King, Calamities, and Decode Talker. Now, side deck, side deck, you got your options. You can put in things like evenly matched if you want to um, among really other innovative choices more hand traps ghost ogres um, possibly ABC Dragon Buster depending on just kind of what your local metagame is now the first comment that I want to make here a lot of people are going to jump on the bridge um, bar actually I uh, was doing this this morning and he wanted to cut uh, dark hole for terraforming uh, having the extra inclusive board wipes in the deck, actually, it really helps. Um, sometimes you'll find yourself in those situations that you just need to literally blow out a card, and you need to understand that having these as main deck board outs are definitely very important to a lot of the games. So there's that. Uh, next up, two summon limits. Um, basically, if you open this against spirals and your opponent doesn't have the out, um, also against Pendulum Magicians, um, because literally, you flip this, their 
normal summon and, and whatnot definitely count. Also, the negated summons count towards this limit, which is very broken. And the negated cards and effects that would summon do not count. Um, so, first thing you need to understand, as an anti-meta idea, um, this, this card is very excellent, but you need to draw it and you need to be able to play first. This deck, I can tell you, is very strong going first. And when we get to the shuffling up the hands, you'll you'll get to take a look here with some of the things. Also, Unending Nightmare is for more of a Pendulum Magician meta. Also, a little bit more True Kingy, um, being able to just knock out this stupid card as you need to do. Um, double Anti Spell Fragrance, once again, anti Pendulum hate. Now, one of the more interesting things. Jurigato being able to use this during the battle phase to power up a monster. Also, being able to gain the extra thousand life points can kind of come in clutch because sometimes you're going to be playing behind. A lot of your games, uh, I mean, in a perfect world, you're going to be shelling infinitely. And I think a lot of times you need to understand that sometimes your life point resources, a couple fatal attacks directly, you'll be in not such a great position. So one of the things that Jurogato aims to do is generally fix that. Outside of that, I, I know a few people like, well, Foolish Barrel for Destrudo, need it. Yeah, you draw it, you kill it, you'll get into another field spell, literally. It's, it's not an issue. Gives you massive tuner playability. Two Brawl Firestorm guards is fine because it requires a normal summon. This is more of your late game clutch card um, to Pot of Avarice, and we've kind of definitely seen how Pot of Avarice was when Pot of Avarice was legal. Um, another thing that I think a lot of people are also going to want to consider, uh, I, th I believe we were talking about wanting a second Fathom Elmer, um, just to be able to recur, but I mean, you have no water targets in the deck for his effect. He's literally just another pop search target off of Diagram. And literally, you're just going to be popping two of these to be able to blow your opponent out. So, definitely something to consider. I mean, it's very standard for what the deck is attending to do. Um, it's a literally just scatter shot, roll with it, and it's not like Rocket can't just tune you into this at any point in time. So, as an anti-meta deck choice, it's one of the cooler ones. Alright, so what are some of the crazy-ass hands that this deck does? Because I feel like this is one of those decks, you look at this on paper, you're like, oh, this looks bad. I'm not going to agree, I kind of think that too. Alright, shovel this thing up five times. Seen some a little bit more interesting hands here. Okay, so literally rocket into your second place accelerator. It sucks we opened one of these, but it's not like you can't just go grab the terraforming. Actually, you've got a turn one um, Agnes out here. So literally, your best case scenario would be to terraform for the field spell. Field spell. Pop off uh, this guy. Search for uh, the Vanisher over here. Add the Vanisher. And then you know, hey, more shells. Am I right? Uh, just that general recursion with this card is so stupid in this deck. I actually like that turn one hand. Drew a Gator RFG is kind of bad, but it's not like if we need to... Well, yeah, we can't discard it off of the Blaze Accelerator. I mean, this is just going to be one of those Dragonic Diagram pop and start going from there. Because you can also banish the Blaze Accelerator uh, from the Graveyard to add a... Yeah, during either player's turn, banish the card from the Graveyard, send one Volcanic from your uh, deck to the Graveyard. So you'll be able to um, banish this, and then bada-bing, bada-boom, you'll have a board wipe. It's actually so stupid how this fucking thing works. It, I kind of wish we would have gotten more potential pops... Um, with Volcanics in general, uh, but yeah, also Rocket into Accelerator, hey, we did it, um, and then, hey, RFG, just on that second turn, Normal Summon is pretty fucking good, the fact that we can just send Scattershot on the opponent's turn just gets even better, Anti-Spell Fragrance, this hand's not awful, I mean, Terraforming, Drop, Kill, Search, um, this one's gonna be one of your more slower bricks, uh, per se, Summon Limit Blaze Accelerator. Um, th this is not bad. And you've also got the Rocket to go recur for the other Accelerator. I don't know. I definitely I like what this deck aims to do as an anti-meta deck, honestly. So, guys. I know. I know. I know some of the crazy deck ideas. Some of you guys like crazy things like this. Some of you don't. But, but what do you think about this build? Is this on your more fun level of innovation, you know? Uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me you think, you know, of course, every, whenever we have cool, weird things like this come up at Locals on Saturday when we're not doing recordings and things like that, you know, I'll try to grab the deck profiles and share them with you guys that way. You know, it's a very wide open format. 
lot of interesting things going on in here, and it's definitely, it's kind of hard to miss a beat sometimes. So, guys, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and do serenos, my audience. Have a good rest of your weekend, guys. Definitely deserve it. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.